this is an educational video to explain something that's called backscatter or blowback. It's a particular kind of email that you may receive uh, and essentially um, it's emailed to you and it, it, it says in essence this email that you sent to so and so and by the way you never sent the email uh, went to a bad address, it's a bad address and I'm sorry we can't deliver it okay that's the essence of the email now let me explain to you what it is and why it happens um, it's basically called backscatter or blowback and the way it works is this let's say you're a spammer okay you're not but let's say that you are and you want to send out a bunch of spam emails okay uh, now obviously if you're a spammer you don't want anybody to know what your email address is so what you're gonna do is fake an email address um, that you're gonna originate from now the best way to do that is to scan the internet and come up with good email addresses to send from okay so that's what you do if you're a spammer you come up with good you scan the internet you come up with good email addresses um, and let's say that you you the, the ultimate recipient here the guy let's say that you the person I'm talking to now let's say that your email address is at, is, is joe at yahoo.com alright Mr. Spammer comes up with your email address, joe at yahoo.com, and he picks you. He, he, what he does is he pretends he's you. He sends a bunch of spam out, but he sends it out with you as the sender. Okay? So he's sending out a bunch of email, and it's all spam, and he sends it to a bunch of people at, say, Comcast. Okay? and one of the people that he sends it to is Sam at Comcast.net alright now there's various things that can happen it used to be that an email like this when this when the server at Yahoo and the server at Comcast would get together and talk to each other and and send email back and forth the Yahoo um, the Yahoo email server would say, listen, um, I've got an email for Sam at Comcast. Uh, would you like to accept that? The Comcast email server will go, well, let me check if Sam at Comcast is a real address. And if it wasn't, then right at that time they'd go, no, nah, I'm not taking that email because there's no Sam here. Okay? Uh, used to be done that way. It's not done for most email services. It's not done that way anymore. What happens is um, the email, Comcast just accepts the email. If you say, I've got this email for Sam, this email for Bob, this email for Bill, at Comcast, Comcast just takes them. Okay? Now, here's the next thing that happens. Comcast has got a whole network of computers, all right, and it hands this email for the for Sam and Comcast off to its other computers, and they do a bunch of checking to see if Sam is a valid address. Okay, they've already accepted the email, so now they look to see if Sam's in their network, in the Comcast network. Come to find out. There is no Sam at Comcast.net. Now, if the people at Comcast have configured their email servers the wrong way, here's the next thing that happens. They have two choices at this point. They can either drop the email, because there is no Sam at Comcast, or they can bounce it. So, um, the more common practice today is just drop the email. Sam's not here, just drop it. 
but occasionally an email server will get configured so that it bounces the email back and here's what happens when it's configured to do that it sends a message back to the seeming or in your case forged sender which is you Joe at, at uh, what was it yahoo.com I remember you Joe at yahoo.com and it says sorry this email that you tried to send to Sam at Comcast.net um, I couldn't deliver it because there's no Sam here so sorry about that uh, but that's the way it is and that's how you end up with an email message uh, that says you sent an email you didn't send to someone who doesn't exist at Comcast the result is a bounce uh, and like I said it's called backscatter or um, blowback okay when you get a message like this ignore it don't worry about it if you didn't send it it's just a spammer who has used your your sender address to send a bunch of spam and the next question you may ask is uh, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, how, how can I you know isn't there something I could do to keep spammers from doing this no sorry there isn't nothing really effective it happens the reason you get the backscatter thing is because somebody has configured an email um, an email server incorrectly so that it bounces this stuff what it should do is drop it and instead it's bouncing it back to you so it won't happen a lot and going forward it probably won't happen much at all but if you get something like this that's what it is and I'm sorry there isn't much you can do about it but at least hopefully you understand what that means at this point okay any questions Feel free to email me, leave a comment here, um, or whatever. Okay? Thanks.